Hi, my name is Bonnie Gale Carter. I'm the author of a book called The Chill Turned Warm. It's a book of, of uh, poetry. And I'm going to read a little bit of my poems uh, to you, and I hope you enjoy it. The first poem that I'm going to read is called Our Bond They Couldn't Break. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this poem and why I wrote it. This poem is about me and my sisters. Uh, during our childhood, we were in a Catholic orphanage uh, while I was in grade school for four years. And later on, we lived with uh, different aunts and uncles for four years. And after that, we lived in different foster homes. So I wrote this poem about me and my sisters. And here it goes. Our bond they couldn't break. Even though we didn't grow up together, we remained sisters forever. Our bond they couldn't break. Our spirits remained great. Being sisters, they couldn't take. God watched over us for our own sake. Our guardian angels knew what was at stake. Even though we had to wait, our bond they couldn't break. We didn't grow up filled with hate. Sisters we did make. Filled with love until this date. Our bond they couldn't break. I hope you enjoyed that. The next poem I want to read to you is called Find the Smile in Your Eyes. And this is this is a different poem. Th this one is uh, about a woman with a broken heart. My heart is heavy burdened because he closed the curtains on us. It was the last act on the play on trust. I don't know, I don't want to carry on, but I must. It's not my time to turn to dust. My eyes are leaking and turning to rust. Carry on and move forward, trust. Find the smile in your eyes, because you must. Don't let bitterness turn into hardened crust. I hope you enjoyed that. That was find the smile in your eyes. And I wrote I wrote a poem called Wonder Why. It goes like this. Pick yourself up. Reach for the stars. By reaching reach for the stars. Treat your scars by reaching for the stars. Look at the clouds in the sky. Think on other things like homelessness and hunger. Put your mind asunder. Pick yourself up. Reach for the stars. Treat your scars by reaching for the stars. Wipe the tears from your eyes. Look at the clouds in the sky. And, and wonder why. Wonder why there are people who need clean water to drink. They don't even have a sink. Their clothes are worn and tattered. Their family is scattered. They're searching for a way to make life better. Pick yourself up. Reach for the stars. Treat your scars by reaching for the stars. Wipe the tears from their eyes by treating their thirst and hunger. Look at the clouds in the sky and wonder why you don't hear their cry. That is wonder why. S uh, my next poem is called Sunsets. And I wrote this poem about the love of my life. Sunsets. Sunsets have such brilliant hues. What a wonderful sky canvas to view. It makes me think of you. Can we make it through the various sunsets and all of life's difficult tests? 
it makes me ponder upon what's next. Can this kind of wonderful really last? Soon the present will be our past. Our memories will have gone by so fast. I want to slow down the sunsets frame by frame. Never do I want them all to be the same. There will be some days filled with rain. Hopefully they'll be filled with more sunshine and the various flavors of wine. Like the sunsets, I pray will last for all of time. You got it working? Yeah. You got to start over? No, I'm, I'm fine. Well, you just record my voice. I'm fine. That was my boyfriend. He was wondering if I was doing okay. <laughs> Here. The Chill Turned Warm. That's the name of my book. And this is the poem called The Chill Turned Warm. Place your hate in the pantry on the shelf. Label it memories of years gone by and store it. Remove the wine saved by time. Dust the bottle until it looks new. The color is brighter and the taste was worth the wait. The bitter was replaced by a taste to savor. On the shelf you will find the love stored all this time. Label the empty space filled with happiness. Close the door. The chill turned warm. I hope you like that poem. Okay, I have sev I have several more. I wrote this poem called Dancing Tulip Tulips. And it's based on a painting that I saw by a uh, artist named Ghazi Rahman. He is you can find him on Facebook. It is G H A Z I R I M A N. He's a wonderful artist, and he uh, lets me use his paintings on my website or my blog. But unfortunately, I couldn't afford to put his paintings in my book, and that sad saddens me. But um, maybe you'll get to go to Facebook and see his paintings. This is Dancing Tulips. The tulips are dancing in the cool summer breeze. Would you hold me and dance with me, please? The photographs, photographs of us are like a, sh a slideshow on a screen. We dance in my mind like we were teens. We have matured just like the tulips have bloomed. Our like-minded thoughts are perfectly in tune. Our eyes meet and they dance with laughter. As we remember all of the love that remains after. We get older as each tulip petal falls to the ground. It doesn't even make a sound. We are like the tulips in the fall of their life. I am so grateful to be called your wife. As the last petal falls to the ground I'll say I love you, and I'm so glad you've been around. That was Dancing Tulips. And I wrote a poem called My Prayers Are Heard. And it's just a short poem, and I just love it, though. My Prayers Are Heard. When I couldn't see beyond this world, when I was falling down the black hole, I called out your name and you came. You are greater than any black crater. The depth of your love and grace fills my soul. You pulled me right out of that black hole. Your mercy abounds and your armor surrounds me. My prayers are heard. Thank God for the word. I hope you enjoyed that. I love I love that poem. Okay, um, here's another one that I really like a lot. It's titled "Jesus is my home of the soul." 
Jesus is my home of the soul. He makes me feel whole. When I feel torn inside, a healing warmth arises. Prayer is music to my soul. It reminds my heart not to be cold. My mind can't quite comprehend the entire feelings to be told. Thank you, Jesus, for being my savior. It modifies my behavior. My wish is that I can save one soul with this small poem that I write. Jesus is the home of my soul. I like that song, uh, that poem. And I have many more poems in my book. It's a, uh, uh, here's a, a poem called Wind Song. And you're not going to believe this about me, but when I was in my 20s, I was a little wild and crazy. And I hung around with a motorcycle gang. I, I know, uh, it's a little wild. But I did it for about three years. And I never had a single problem with any of the Harley riders. I, uh, they were all uh, nice to me. And I, I never had, like I said, never had one single problem with any of them. And here's the poem called Wind Song. Hear the distinct, distinctive sound of a Harley. Just gaze upon its beauty. Feel the wind blowing through your hair. It's a wind song. The only, on, that only the chosen can feel and hear. By writing solo, the intensity of freedom encompasses your very being. By writing in groups, the brotherhood emerges and an all-powerful feeling surges. Some are born to ride. Few realize its full glory. I'm destined to ride to the wind song because I chose a Harley Davidson. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm no longer wild, a wild woman. I've calmed down. I'm 60 years old now. And all I do is write a few poems and share them with people. And I hope you enjoyed them. Have a good day. And you can find my book, uh, The Children Warm, at Amazon.com, Barnes and Nobles, and ebooks galore. It's in the form of a paperback on Amazon, and it's a Kindle book. And um, there, there's one last thing I want to say. My uh, boyfriend uh, is a musician. He's he's an unsigned musician. He uh, wrote a song titled "Little Girl in the Orphanage." And if you go to my YouTube channel, Bonnie Carter four four zero, you can find "Little Girl in the Orphanage" uh, among his videos. He uh, wrote it just for me, and uh, because he read two of my poems titled "The Prisoner in Grade School" and "The Child Inside of Me." Have a wonderful day, and I hope you uh, get my book, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Bye.